Now, the fourth thing that you must teach your woman or your wife or whatever, you have to teach her this. Men are not her friends. You tell her, men are not your friends. Some of them genuinely genuinely believe that their personalities are so dope that men just want to be friends with them and nothing else. They really believe them. Some of them really believe this. Now, a lot of them, a lot of them understand that, you know, a lot of them enjoy the male validation without sex, right? So they enjoy the friend zone and they enjoy the boyfriend treatment and the male's uh, attention and the male validation and the male energy without giving up sex. Some of them enjoy this. But there's a large majority of the women who really genuinely, genuinely believe that they are just so dope of a people that women just want to be friends with them and nothing else. You have to tell women that and, and explain to them how that is absolute bullshit. It ain't because your personality is just so dope. Dudes are trying to hit it. Everybody is not as assertive as me who just going to come and talk to you. Most guys will wait in the wings for years. And the only reason that he is your friend is because you made it clear that he, that, 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 you know, that there's nothing else going on. You see what I'm saying? You made it clear that it's all that's going to be friends. So that's why he's your friend. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, um, women don't want to accept the reality that 99.9 percent of the men in their lives are there out of a sexual interest it just is what it is women don't want to understand because that's a hard thing to accept right it's like damn that's all they want at least that now i'm not talking about out of biz i'm not talking about you know um business arrangements and stuff like that but just regular everyday regular life everyday right <laughs> regular life men are there because they want something sexual or romance i don't there's romance reasons and the only reason that they have not proceeded is because you put a barrier up and said hey we're gonna be friends or i want to be friends or they scared they scared to approach you and they don't know how to approach you you see what i'm saying yeah, we can do outliers, but even the outliers, right? Even the outliers. So let's say your girl say, oh, well, I'm an outlier or, you know, you have a situation to where you do have a platonic friendship. But there's a reason that that's an outlier. Probably probably because the, you know, the chick dated the homeboy or, you know, the dude dated the girl's friend and she don't want to cross that line and they just cool now. But there are, there are, there are barriers in the way from them being from from it being something or somebody wanting something you understand what i'm saying there's always an interest and you have to teach your woman that because they believe that men are their friends they believe that okay yeah he just don't want that he just cool um he just cool with me again a lot of them know otherwise but a lot of them believe that you see what i'm saying a lot of them believe that it's just it, it, it and it's crazy that especially when they're attractive like you really think and believe in your head that it's just your personality is just so bomb no we have nothing in common as men and women we don't unless you're a tomboy or something but even then like i'm gonna be real right now i'm talking about friendship women women have women are very dope in regards to you know when you, as far as like provide value into your life especially romantically and even like an, in a business sense but i'm just saying like a a friendship just like how a man and a, 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 a two men are friends like there's really nothing in common between men and women there's really nothing like we think we don't think the same we don't process things the same we don't speak the same language we don't enjoy the same things for the most part you see what i'm saying and even if we do nature will not allow that because nature <laughs> nature made men attracted to women sexually there's always a sexual interest every 10 times a day somebody in 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 this is why I try to tell women. Ten times a day, there's somebody in my inbox. At least ten different times a day where at a lot of this type of stuff, I don't really respond to anymore because I don't have the time to. But a guy 
will inbox me and say, hey, man, this girl was talking to me. Uh, this girl was talking to me at my job. Is she choosing me? Hey, this girl looked at me or smiled at me and said, hey, good day. The girl that, that was bagging my groceries, does she like me? What should I say to her? Like every little f***ing thing that a woman does, the man mind automatically tries to make sex out of it. Even if the woman is just being nice and friendly, so you have a nice day, nice seeing you again. They'll come inbox me trying to, you know, because they've already sexualized the shit. I do it too. I do it too. I was talking to my lawyer, right? I got it, I got it like a kind of an entertainment lawyer kind of type of thing, right? To make sure y'all ain't stealing my stuff. Um y'all it's real. But anyway, I got a lawyer I was talking to, right? I was talking to her a couple days ago. And when I, I was realizing, because when I'm talking to her, well, I was in the middle of putting this, my notes for this together and shit. And when I was talking to her, I was realizing, like, when I first met her, like, when we first, the first meeting we had to do business, I'm saying in my mind, I would fuck with her if this wasn't in the way. But me personally, I don't mix business with pleasure. But she's a very attractive woman. And so in my mind, my mind had went there first quarter. And I had to stop myself and say, no, this is business. Soon as we sat down and we got to talking, she got that sweet voice. She's attractive. It, it, I instantly went there. Instantly. Right? And I stopped myself consciously, hey, that ain't what we're doing. And so now that's what it is. We do business. And me personally, I don't shit where I eat, but she's very attractive. If, if, now, she, she would be, you know, I would be cool with her, right? Even if we didn't have a business business relationship, I would be cool with her because of the value that she would be able to provide my business. So even if she said, hey, you know, we this is just a strictly platonic thing, although I do have a, a an attraction to her, right? As far as like a physical attraction, I would still be cool with her because she can be a benefit to me. You see what I'm saying? But most of y'all chicks ain't like that. Y'all work at f***ing call centers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, so that's a little bit different. If you see a woman, let's say, let's say, you know, your woman is a, a I mean, your, this chick is a, a, a you know, a SEO marketer or something like that. Or she, she's good with marketing or something. And she don't really want to be, uh, you know, she don't want to really be on, on your team like that. Or she don't, she's not attracted to you like that, but she want to be friends. I say it's cool with being friends with somebody who you can get some game from to apply to your life. Not even to your life, to your business or something like that. That's cool, but those are the outliers. Most of y'all chicks ain't marketers or, you know, lawyers or shit like that. They fucking regular LPN nurses or CNAs or work at Denny's or something. Right? Or what they do can't really provide you value. You see what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I said that to say, you have to teach your woman that. Even you. And this is why you tell her, this is why I don't have female friends. I don't have female friends. You have to tell her this and you have to tell her the truth because it instantly goes there. Our minds instantly go to something romantic when we first meet a woman, especially if she's attractive. Instantly. It's the first thing we think about. Now, a woman will put that barrier up, but that don't mean that that, that goes away. And women don't understand that. You see what I'm saying? You don't have male friends, and don't let them trick you either, because I tell you like this, most of my homegirls, besides, besides one, well, that's a good friend, but most of my homegirls, I had, I'd smashed already. And we just don't see each other like that no more. It, that smashed 10, 15 years ago or something like that. We were smashing in. We just cool now. We we chop it up every now and again. But I smashed most of my homegirls already. And we grew to be homeboy, homegirl shit. It, but it's not like we friends and I tell them all my business every day and we just talk on the phone all every day. No, we just cool. That's my dog. They can call if, you know, they need something. I, you know, it depends on what they need. Well, I'm pretty sure I can't call them every time I need something. But it's just cool. It's like, you know, you see them, you kick it with them. It's cool. Homeboy, homegirl type of shit. But most women like that in my life, I, I smashed already. Besides one. And the only reason is because she used to date my best friend. You see what I'm saying? And that's just, I ain't, I ain't really crossing that line like that. Because that's not the type of person I am. But. You know, 
And even that, that had a chance to do something, but my loyalty for him wouldn't let me do that, basically. You feel what I'm saying? But you have to, 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 to teach your woman this, right? Given the opportunity, every one of them dudes will hit it, given the opportunity. They just haven't had the opportunity. Tell her to do the the, the, the test, the, the text her to, to tell them that, that you want to smash and see what them dudes say. Women be so scared to do that. You know why? Because they scared to lose that male attention without the romance. Like, you got to understand how big that is for a woman to get boyfriend, male attention, favors, rides, a shoulder to cry on, but not have to give up sex. That is huge for a woman. So most women won't even do that test. And if they do, they'll sabotage it to do the test where hit him up and tell him you want to smash and see what he say. That good friend of yours. You see what I'm saying? But you have to teach your woman that men are not her friends. Ladies, men are not your friends. I'm sorry. We not. I'm a man. I'm a heterosexual male. I am attracted to feminine energy. I'm attracted to attractive women. I'm attracted to soft women. If a woman speaks to me and she says, now that's not to say I get horny and I get lustful over every woman that walks by me. No. But if I stop and I have an interaction with a woman and she clicks one of these triggers, right? Because we have triggers. And all of these triggers are not physical. This is what allows men who are not attracted to big girls to still sleep with big girls. Because it's not just about physical. Just like how with women, it's not just about physical. It's not just about physical with men anyway. This is why women get soft because they know soft, you know, softness and sweetness is attractive. You see what I'm saying? It's a sexual, it's a sexual trigger, right? So even a woman who, let's say she a four or a five, she may be talking to you, but she's sweet and she's open. This may turn a man on. You see what I'm saying? It's it's like this, but. <clears throat> What I'm saying is I'm a man and I'm going to be 100% and I'm going to keep it real because I don't got nothing to lie about. And I, my women know I'm a man. I, if No, she not my friend. No, there's something behind that. Not that there's something behind that, but no, I don't want to be friends with her. I sexualized her already. Before I even, 30 seconds into the conversation. Now, if she put up barriers to say, okay, this is not the case. This ain't going to be, this ain't going to be nothing cool. I got to respect that. And if I want to be in the friend zone, I'm going to just be in the friend zone. But like Steve Harvey say, man, the only reason that a man remains your friend is because you made it clear that it was nothing more than friendship. You made that clear. If you remove that barrier and you open yourself up to the possibility of you or you threw that man in the bone, he'll take it. I don't care what you say. And a lot of women are scared to test that out because they 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 so scared of losing that, which is hard to which is impossible to get boyfriend energy without the possibility of romance. Male protection, male leadership, male to get everything from a man without the possible for free basically without giving up romance you see what i'm saying women are terrified to lose that if they have a man in the friend zone and a lot of them won't try to a lot of them will not do that test you see what i'm saying but men are not you have to teach your girl that men are not their friends